He's starting to fall as tropical storm Arthur gets closer to the Outer Banks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Russ Bowen. And I'm Maggie Newland. While some parts of our coast experience some rough and dangerous surf, you couldn't tell in other areas along the Outer Banks. Our Chris Horn is in Nags Head. Maybe today was the unofficial beginning of the summer beach season. We saw a lot of people out here earlier in the day. They were doing various things, boogie boarding. Some were even trying to surf. Some were playing cornhole. A lot of people were out here just having a good time, not necessarily social distancing. However, there is a storm on the way, as you've said. And there's also a warning from local county officials to stay out of the water because of the risk of rip currents. But we did see several people in the water on Sunday. The pier closed. No one was allowed out on Jeanette's pier. They're looking for the storm to come in maybe middle of morning tomorrow and then throughout the afternoon is kind of the window but it will probably be out to sea and this might just be the fringe we'll have to keep an eye on that as far as local services the only thing we've seen so far is garbage uh, pick up tomorrow and some of the towns here in the southern on the southern part of the outer banks will be suspended for tomorrow so just watching and waiting here in nags head and with the official start of hurricane season still a couple weeks away, the Red Cross is urging you to prepare now. They say have an emergency travel plan and a backup plan. You also need an emergency kit with supplies and supplies for your pet if you have one. But unlike years past, you need to pack a kit this year for evacuating and a kit for staying put in case you're under a stay-at-home order during a natural disaster. You can visit CBS17.com for a complete preparation list.